Okay, we're looking next at the Wiggles Pinot. This is the 09. Again, just released. I fell in love with the 4s and 5s a couple of years ago. Haven't seen the, uh, the last couple of vintages. But 9 for Great Southern is giving me, you know, you, we've been hearing good things about it. If you have a look at the colour, I'm not going to see a hell of a lot of it, but there's a really kind of Burgundian colour. I hate to use old world references, but that's the only thing I can think of. It's, um, it's got a, a kind of browny, purpley aged look about it, which is quite interesting for such a young Pinot. You, it's a nice nose. It's giving me everything that kind of turns me on about W.A. Pinot Noir. It's got a beautiful, warm, brown, uh, spice component, a lot of oak flavour, and lots and lots of plum uh, in the nose. It's a really, really beautiful nose. And it's, it's a bit, it's, you know, it's, it's hinting that it's a mid to full body Pinot, that's for sure. It's immaculately made wine, front, mid and back palette's fine, the acid's great, um, the balance and the weight on it is not quite as full flavoured as I expected off the nose, but um, absolutely brilliant um, flavour and a completely finished and really sexy wine. I think this is um, a great example of what Western Australia can do when they're in the southern regions where it's cooler, so you're getting this maritime climate which is making a big impression on on the kind of the kind of product that they're producing down there so there's a big thumbs up it's going to be sub fifty dollars um, and I completely recommend it so at the end of the day don't worry too much about what the wine critics say if you like it just drink it cheers